Hey g'day guys, welcome back to Gone Travel Nice. So in this episode we're going to do, uh, do a uh, review on the uh, Drifter 4x4 pocket chainsaw and uh, we'll see how good it goes, so let's get into it. Yeah, right guys, so as I said we're going to do a, a review on the uh, Drifter uh, pocket chainsaw. I haven't used it yet, so I only got it the other day, so I thought I'll give it a, give it a crack. So it's on their website for $39. Um, and obviously it's a pocket chainsaw, you can chuck it in your glove box, in your pocket. Um, it's designed with a chainsaw, like a chainsaw chain, so um, I'm interested to see how it's going to go. I did watch a video on it from the blokes at Drifter, and he was uh, cutting a tree or a branch with just two fingers, so I'm keen to see how good that goes, and um, I'll do one tree, and then I'm going to get Penny on the other tree, and uh, we'll get a, a female perspective on how it works. So let's uh, set it all up and get into it. Alright, so we're all set up here. I'm just going to cut into this uh, dead bit of wood. It's uh, probably about a couple inches wide, I suppose. So this is a little, comes with a little carry bag, and this is the uh, the chainsaw itself. So it's got a couple of grab handles. So I'm going to, I'm going to test it out with the two fingers and see how how well it cuts. So this is a dead bit of wood. So the one I watched, he was cutting a uh, a green bit of wood. So it might be a little bit different, and then after I finish this, I'll get pen onto the uh, onto another one, and we'll see how well it actually works. So we'll see how much effort we actually got to put into this. All right, uh, so we'll just set it up. We'll just cut it off around about there, I guess, and we'll just go backwards and forwards. So at the moment, I've just got two fingers going. We've got you know, two fingers with a little bit of effort. Oh, so this would be good if you go along a track somewhere and you need to clear a bit of, clear a tree, a branch. Just go a bit faster. I don't know if you can see on the video there, but it's cutting through it quite easy and quite quickly. I don't know if I would want to be cutting a load of wood like this, but it'll... Give the old shoulders a good work yet. A bit of sawdust and you know, I better put the eye protection on. So it definitely cut through the branch. Tell you what, wouldn't we want to cut any bigger? But yeah, you can use two fingers and uh, cut through. So we'll set up on another tree uh, and I'll get penned up a bit of a go. Right, so we just found a little bit smaller uh, tree branch for penned up a crack at. So I'll hold on to this side and she'll get cracking into it too, even with two fingers.
Like it does take a little bit of effort, so as I said, you probably wouldn't want to be knocking over some big branches, but little small things like this could even be handy for a, a fire bucket of a night time if you need it. It seems to be cutting through pretty well. On the two fingers. Oh, we're. What? Yep. Yep. Oh, that's beautiful. How was that? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be cutting any thicker than this size. <laughs> yeah, I think that, uh, that, uh... It was good though. Last one that I just did, I think it was probably a little bit big and I, I cut off a bit more than I could chew, as they say. But yeah, this is, this is probably only, what, three centimetres yeah, that's, in di that's diameter? Probably, yeah, it's probably all you want, but anyway, it's just a... <laughs> Little pocket chainsaw in case you need it for emerges, I guess. So, anyway, guys, if you've got any questions, chuck it down in the comments. I'll uh, get back to you. And if this sort of uh, content, uh, you enjoy this sort of content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, guys. And uh, until next time, cheers.